Hello toppers, we have already completed gallbladder 1 lecture. If you want to listen, you just go to the description, we have given the link below. In lecture 1, we have completed congenital gallbladder anomalies, also gall, gall stones. But in this lecture, we will be discussing about acute cholecystitis and related complications. First comes acute cholecystitis. Commonly, it occurs in a patient with pre-existing chronic cholecystitis, but often also can occur as a first presentation. What is the usual cause? Usual cause is impacted gallstone in Hartman's pouch, which is obstructing the cystic duct that causes cholecystitis. And we can classify it as acute calculus cholecystitis and acute a calculus cholecystitis. I hope in this picture you can able to see the impacted gallstone at the level of cystic duct. So occurs the distension in gallbladder. Also because of the gallstone obstruction that leads to the inflammation over the mucus wall. In this picture you can able to see inflamed gallbladder and swollen mucosas. Usually the stone irritates the mucosa and that leads to this complaints. And coming to the infective causes, first one, E. coli is the most common cause and other than that, Klebsiella, Streptococcus faecalis, Salmonella and Clostridium welchi, these bacteria also cause cholecystitis. And as it is an infection, it can spread through the hematogenous uh, way that is through hepatic artery or cystic artery. So from there, it reaches the portal circulation. Usually in cholecystitis, gallbladder wall will be distended with edematous friable wall. So wall contains dilated vessels. Also there occurs the necrosis and patchy gangrene that leads to the severe presentation. And here the mucosa shows ulceration and necrosis. Lumen sometimes may contain infected fluid or infected bile or frank pus also visible. If we think about clinical features, here the uh, symptoms occurs as sudden onset of pain in right hypochondrium with tenderness, guarding and rigidity. As it is an acute condition, this is must tenderness, guarding and rigidity will be there in all acute abdominal conditions. And also uh, palpable, tender, smooth gallbladder will be there. And this is known as Boas sign. What is Boas sign? This is much more important than anything. Area of hyperesthesia between 9th and 11th ribs posteriorly on the right side. This occurs in case of acute cholecystitis. So this is known as Boas sign. And jaundice may or may not be present present associated with that as it is an acute condition fever nausea and some other uh, constitutional symptoms may be present now if we think about the complications first one empyma gallbladder it is a type of acute cholecystitis where in the gallbladder is filled with pus and this is seen in 30 percentages of cases nearly and it occurs because of infection mostly and this condition has got high mortality and uh, this is commonly observed in impacted stone diabetic individual immunosuppressed people like hiv and also the people who are taking long time steroid therapy there occurs the empyma gallbladder and usually it can perforate and it can leads to abscess formation and it may leads to peritonitis also next comes mucosal of gallbladder and it is also due to obstruction of cystic duct by a stone in the neck that is uh, hartman's pouch and uh, it can be with or without infection or with or without inflammation of gallbladder. And this causes absorption of all bile and all secretions of mucus that leads to that leads to the allowing of gallbladder to distend and causes mucosal. And this is also known as hydrops of gallbladder. We will be discussing about mucosal. And next comes acute cholecystitis may lead to the chronic cholecystitis also distended gallbladder may perforate and may leads to peritonitis sometimes the stones in the gallbladder may form the fistula and may and it may leads to ileus at the terminal ileum sometimes 
causes pancreatitis also some other complications like obstructive jaundice colidocolithiasis and cholangitis may occur next comes emphysematous cholecystitis this is not not empyema this is emphysematous cholecystitis empyema means the pus fills within the cavity but emphysema means gas within the gall bladder and this is a result of life threatening septicemia and uh, in this case usually this is seen in uh, diabetic and immunosuppressed individuals and uh, this leads to gangrene perforation and peritonitis so emergency cholecystectomy is needed in this case of cholecystitis and usually this is occurs because of clostridium welchi infection and seen in elderly male patients in this picture you can able to see gas within the gall bladder and this is radiological appearance here the gas within the gall bladder indicated by the straw you can able to see next these solid lines are indicating gas within the gall bladder wall also free gas is indicated by open and closed arrows now empyema as we know empyema is a type of cholecystitis and here pus will be there it may be sterile or non sterile this is very tender condition here we can able to get smooth globular gall bladder which is palpable in right hypochondrium also these patients will present with fever toxicity pain and tenderness and this condition got high mortality and complications may be rupture peritonitis or septicemia next comes mucosal as we saw already mucosal is nothing but gall bladder wall will absorb all the bile secretion and all the mucus secretion of gall bladder so because of the absorption uh, there occurs the dilatation of gall bladder wall distension of gall bladder wall and that causes mucosal of gall bladder as we know already this is also known as hydrops of gall bladder rarely cholangiocarcinoma can lead to the formation of mucosal of gall bladder usually sterile this contents are sterile and here this swelling is painless in case of empyema that is painful but mucosal is painless swelling in right hypochondrium non tender but soft globular palpable gall bladder you have to remember this this is non tender painless condition and here the patient will present with the features of dyspepsia but if it get infected that may lead to empyema gall bladder then the patient may present with painful or tender condition so this is about acute cholecystitis and related complications for more surgery lectures please go to the description thank you